Well, thank you for joining me for another ity.com and Alex on Tech video. On my left, I'm joined by Howard Wilson. He's the Chief Commercial Officer of PageDuty. On the right, I have Jonathan Rendy. He is the Senior Vice President of Product and Marketing at PageDuty. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So I thought I'd just start at the beginning and ask you both to uh, just introduce yourselves and just remind us what PageDuty does in 2018. Sure. Um, so I am responsible for product and marketing within the company. So mm -hmm. the strategy, the direction, the investments that we're making on the product and the platform, and then how we choose to communicate that to all of you. Sure. Yeah, and I'm uh, the chief commercial officer for PageDuty. So that means I have a huge interest in how our customers are using our product. And so I look after all our customer operations. And then I also focus on our functions that are really around helping us scale and grow because PageDuty is expanding. Um, our presence here in Asia Pacific and Australia has grown dramatically mm -hmm. in the last 12 months and we expect to see further expansion. Now I'm sure most people watching this video are well aware of what PageDuty does, but can you just give us a quick reminder of PageDuty in 2018? Yeah, so part of the purpose of the event today is to expand um, our community's understanding of PagerDuty. And this mm -hmm. is the last, what we're saving the best for last, of the Connect series. We've done them across the globe. And the whole idea is so many people know PagerDuty as an alerting product. Mm -hmm. uh, that was years ago. And while all of our customers use PagerDuty to help in automating the alerting process for opportunities, problems within their organizations, we've expanded far beyond that. Uh, into the world of managing you know, workflows and issues and opportunities across diverse organizations, uh, orchestrating you know, the, the, the real work of the knowledge workers in that organization, and then uh, doing several other things, helping these organizations really mature and transform mm -hmm. as they're moving uh, into the digital age and what they're doing today. So event management, event intelligence, analytics, some of these things on top that are really helping these organizations uh, see top line benefits, see mm -hmm. bottom line benefits and how they're supporting services in an always on world. That's really what we're all about. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to think about, about the fact that we focus on real time operations. So mm -hmm. for us, what's really critical is that we're moving people from models where they would simply be looking at work that could take, you know, days, weeks or months. Mm -hmm to an environment now that requires that people are dealing with things in seconds, you know, milliseconds, mm. minutes, right? Mm. So the, the whole page duty platform concept is really about enabling people to do work differently. And, you know, Jonathan mentioned workflows and those workflows can be across a diverse set of, of use cases, um, but we're helping customers actually make that move to be able to manage their infrastructure proactively to get away from doing work that is redundant, to get away from doing work that is not meaningful, mm -hmm. and really trying to elevate the quality of work that people get to do. So it's the unnecessary work that we can actually take out of their way, mm. so they can really focus on the stuff that's gonna have the highest value. The magic of technology. It is. <laughs> you know, one of the great things that Howard touched upon too is that a lot of folks know us in the development and in the operations world, mm -hmm. but increasingly all parts of organizations have a tech stack. Mm. that they need to manage, whether it's the security team or the customer support team or the marketing team or even outside the walls of the enterprise in the physical world. Um, all of them deal in that re real-time world and all of them have to have a way to manage uh, you know, issues and incidents and you know, opportunities that come their way in real time. And so they're all taking advantage of PagerDuty today. And I think you know the other thing that you see within the industry, there's so much talk about machine learning and mm. AI. And, and digital transformation. And digital transformation. And, buzzwords, and yeah. sometimes it feels like, oh, there are all these words, mm. like a word salad. Like, mm. does this really... Bingo. Yeah, does it really mean <laughs> anything? But for us, what's really important is that we, when we think about machine learning, it's this is changing the way that people work. Mm. Right? This is about applying the, the rules, the learnings of, of all the most capable people within your organization using the way that they've solved problems to solve problems so that someone doesn't have to do the same again. And to me that is like a, a meaningful step forward because it puts us in the path to be able to apply automation, right? So it's all about uh, being able to use that in, in, a, in really an intelligent way and not just to say, hey, we've got some machine learning going on, but it's actually changing the way that people work. Absolutely. Well, look, I've got all of today's uh, Connect uh, presentations recorded. They'll be available alongside this video. But you also have your annual summit uh, in early September, where I guess you'll be going through all of that and a lot more in, in great detail. 
Well, we're really excited about that. So in September, uh, as, as you mentioned, we have our annual event. It's an industry event. We hold that in San Francisco every year, and we're excited about it for a number of reasons. One, to share some of the same ideas that we talked about today. Mm -hmm. um, but we have really an all-star intergalactic lineup of speakers and content. Uh, and one of those, of course, Ray Kurzweil, the, the singularity man. The yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. he, as a part of his talk, is going to spend some time as many people know, he's done some incredibly innovative work around artificial intelligence and machine learning. And his point is it's, it's all about the good it can do, the mundane tasks it can eliminate for people. And it meshes so well with what we're trying to accomplish at Page of Duty. So yeah, Ray is gonna be there, the Thomas Edison of our yeah. time, uh, as, as well as many others, Patrick Lencioni, who's an expert on how teams can collaborate and trust each other and work more closely, very close to us as a people-centric organization, mm -hmm. as well as John Alspa, who's a, a demigod uh, in the world of DevOps. And so uh, we've got just an all-star group of folks who are gonna be there to share their knowledge. Yeah, and, and along with those folks, you know, we have a great cast of customers who are mm -hmm. gonna be sharing their um, experiences and a large number of our technology partners who will also be sharing in that event so it's intended to be an event that is um, an opportunity for people to be educated mm -hmm. and to be entertained and to feel as though they've networked and um, go away really feeling as though it was a you know a good couple of days plus any comments you want to share from the uh, the attendees today seeing as we're at the end of the uh, end of today's proceedings yeah well I, I was chatting to a few of the folks after the session today and there were some sessions that that really seemed to hit the spot Resonate, um, yeah. yeah and a, a few folks have commented around the Ladbrokes um, uh, presentation yeah, I don't was, know, uh, just because the gaming and betting industry is a, <laughs> is a big industry well it's um, so intense with all the things they have to yeah, go through so they really have to have their uptime and uh, you know this quality of service that, I mean that's right and okay. it seemed to just show it it, it was really clear the mm. impact of being able to operate in real real yeah. time right there they can't think about you know days or weeks it's right now the yeah. impact is like hundreds of thousands of dollars right now and and people are all sort of like you know talking about that and the the other piece that seemed to to capture a lot of people's attention as well was just thinking about how ing had been through that evolution mm -hmm. right um and i think there was you know people had caught on to that wave of that customer story and the one that i personally you know found interesting was having the cab charge folks speak mm. about how their industry had been disrupted right by the likes of uber and these other ride sharing sure. organizations and how that's created like a real impetus for them to change the technology right because they they realized the technology was at the heart of what needed to change so yeah and and you know, most of the folks I spoke to in the breaks have, have kind of commented more on the customer presentations than on anything else. So yeah. that obviously um, hits the spot. Absolutely. It's always the real world experiences yeah. and uh, how it's benefited those other people and their operations that, that people can draw from. Yeah. And so uh, for those watching this video, the, if you just scroll up, those videos will be there, <laughs> courtesy of Page of Duty. So any final messages for the, uh, your customers and uh, current and future and ITY readers and viewers watching? Yeah, a couple things maybe from my side. One is, this is a journey that a lot of these organizations are undertaking. They're at different levels of maturity mm -hmm. uh, today. Some uh, have a very separate ops team and a very separate dev team, and they're just learning to automate and work together. Others are on the far end of the spectrum where you know they're a pure DevOps world, and they're automating and empowering people on the front lines to do things. And one of the messages I think that's important is whether you're on one end of the spectrum or the other, um, that the solution that we're talking about today applies to both and it can help them on the journey and that's something that we're very focused in we know people are at different stages and we want to help them get better in their organization and see the benefits and the values of so many of the customers that spoke today so and how yeah and I think um, if I think specifically about the region um, we are well and truly open for business. It's taken us a year to get ourselves well and truly set up from just a couple of people to now you know, more than a dozen people in region. And this is your second Connect event. That's correct, yeah. uh, our second Connect event. And in that time, we've seen ourselves, we've grown our number of customers by more than 25%. This mm -hmm. is hundreds of customers that mm -hmm. we're, we're adding. And we're seeing an explosive growth in the number of users of our platform in this region. And we have a, a team that's really keen to help our prospects and our customers to really benefit from this, this progression in digital operations. Well, Howard and Jonathan, thank you very much for your time and best of luck to yourselves and your customers for the future. Thank you. Thank, thank you very sense. much. Thank you.